think about that every six months at least. Why are you so annoying? You know what? Honestly, I understand why people would leave watching my stream or a video of mine with that opinion. And I actually don't blame you at all whatsoever. I think I am louder than most people. I think I come off super cocky and brash when I almost have nothing to back it up. And sometimes people find that charming and some people find that insufferable. And I and I, I would actually not even like be surprised if you left with the insufferable one. Uh, but you know what, man? Sutra, I think if we were to sit down at a bar and have a beer together, we would get along great. Uh, and if we didn't, that's okay too. Why did you become a streamer? Uh, uh, kind of by accident. I didn't know really that you could be a streamer until college when I discovered streaming. And then I became a streamer because, uh, well, I got fired from all my other jobs. And uh, I had two friends, uh, Slime and a uh, Nick, who wanted to live with me and wanted me to move in with them. And so I decided to move in with them and try streaming out. And, uh, and now I'm here. So... You know, mostly luck and uh, in in preparedness for l for luck. What is the most illegal thing you've ev uh, ever done? Probably robbing a store. I think larceny. I think larceny is the most illegal thing I've done. Or no, okay, the tax evasion is not a crime. To, and it wasn't evasion; it was avoidance, which isn't a crime. I wouldn't call that a crime necessarily. Necessarily. Willow, think of the 50 gifted. I would say robbing. I would say thievery. Or maybe running a legal lottery. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, yeah, no, I would say robbing now. Robbing a store, probably. <laughs> All right, next. Have you ever subscribed to an OnlyFans? Never. That was past my time, man. Back in my day, like literally when I used to look at a shit ton of uh, like when I was a teenager, I would, all I had to do was boot up my PSP, look up, a generic woman's name and the way google used to work is it would give you the most search results no matter what they wouldn't filter it at all and if you looked up a woman's name it would just come up with it would just would if safe search was off and you looked up like you know uh sarah lee you know what i mean so that's 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 what i i didn't i wasn't paying you know how fat are you? Kilograms. I don't, I don't ask that. How much do you weigh is the correct question. How fat are you? That's not nice. Okay. 88 kilograms. I weighed myself this morning. 88 to 89. Anywhere in between there. Worst decision you've ever made. Dude, you know what? I actually think about this at least every six months. I think I actually know the worst decision I've ever made. It's nothing to do with business. It's nothing to do with uh, like a big regret or anything. Well, actually, no, it does. I, I think the worst decision I, I've made is it's nothing to do with like streaming or or YouTube or anything. It was when I was, I think, uh, twelve years old. My grandma died, and my mom was flying to France to go to the funeral and she asked me and my sister if we wanted to go and we both had to agree so like either we both said yes if one said no we wouldn't go at all my sister was down to go but I said no because I was sad to leave my friends and stuff for like a month and like skip school and stuff so I stayed home but I always wish I went I think that was a mistake I think I was wrong to do that I think about that every six months at least I, I should have gone just, you know, like, I think, like, obviously I understand why as a child I didn't go, but, but no, I always wish, I always wish I went because I think that matters. Favorite thing Cutie Bakes. Okay. Cutie Bakes a lot. And to be honest, I reject most of her baked goods, not because they're bad, but because if I ate them all, I would become fat. Uh, I would gain a lot of weight. Uh, so, so. Real quick before I get to that one. Uh, I would say the thing that is my favorite that she bakes. It's probably her scones. Because I like, 
like her pumpkin scones. I like things that aren't super sweet, but semi-sweet. So I'm going to go scones. That's my favorite. Do you still plan on riding a motorcycle in Japan? Yeah, me and Michael Reeves, we're going to motorcycle across all of Japan together. 100%. I'm looking forward to that. What's the last thing that made you cry? Oh, I remember. It was recently, too. Oh, Susan dying. I cried. I was really sad, actually. Susan, the CEO of YouTube, I cried most maybe this week, right? You know, and you know what did it, man? It's because like she passed away, and then I rewatched just a part of the interview that I did with her, and we talked in that interview about how in five years she we were gonna check in on how my NFT was doing, and we're not even halfway through that time period, and she passed, and I thought that was so sad that like we didn't get to to like chat again. So that that was it. That was that was that that, that made me cry. That was sad. What is your favorite food? My favorite food? It, so, historically, my favorite food has been bread. But, like, I don't know if I necessarily consider that a food by its own right. But I do very much love bread. Like, really good bread, specifically. But I'm trying to think, like, oh, if it's on a menu, what do I always order? You know? Dude, honestly, I don't have it a lot. But I love croquettes. I think croquettes might be my favorite food. Uh, the Spanish food. I think it's big in Japan too. But yeah, that's probably my favorite. Okay, all right. This is the same theme. Same theme. What would your last meal be? Okay. No, I thought about this because I watched that uh, YouTuber who does the last meals. He did one with Sean Evans recently. I like his channel a lot. I like his show a lot. I think my last meal. Give me a PB&J. A lot of PB on that. Give me, uh, give me a, give me a cappuccino. Give me a lobster roll. Lobster roll might be my favorite food. Give me some croquette. Uh, give me a scone to go with that cappuccino. Damn. Give me like a. Give me like a steak. Yeah, give me a steak. Just fucking filet mignon. Yeah, that'd be nice too. And then an affogato probably. An affogato go fucking hard at the end there. And then a cigarette. If it's my last meal, that counts as part of the meal. Yeah, for sure a cigarette at the end. Maybe some calamari too. Hold up, my girlfriend's calling me.